to inform all of you that my recent court date at the moment on the 19th was again a blatant miscarriage of justice. Judge Beliza denied my right to have my case transferred to juvenile court. His reasons came from a vapid mind with a childish, ignorant understanding of the law. Judge Beliza refused to acknowledge that he opened my case by vacating count three of attempted murder. People versus Tradia, which was decided on May 26, 2022, specifically demonstrates how his case was opened by having only one count vacated. Judge Beliza stated that since my case is not here on remand, that People v. Padilla doesn't apply. My attorney stated in response that he is mistaken. My appeal on the second district court was granted in part, respectively, to counts one and two of second degree murder, and is to be reversed and remanded to trial court for further proceedings. Positive thinking for another nonsensical reason to deny, and finally states, well, He's not here on remand to go to juvenile court. This was nearly laughed at. For those who remember what I said a few days ago, he stated my case wasn't open because he did not change the time to my sentence, although he did. Now he's stating it's about a specific remand, which is relevant because remand is remand. Why on remand is too specific to matter? Call is being recorded. My attorneys asked, do you really want us to waste judicial finances to go to the appeal court again to get a specific remand? So this case isn't eligible or open based on a specific remand. His silence went on so long it was ignored. In 2019, I was pulled down from prison to go to Pomona court for sentence correction, where an additional seven years was added to count three for the attempted murder because they never applied it, which is why they needed to correct my sentence. Now, on July 19th, 2022, Judge Beliza vacated count three of attempted murder, which obviously removes that seven years that was added. My point being, he obviously changed the time of my sentence, yet he refuses to acknowledge he did. My attorney then asks if the judge even knows why he vacated count three of attempted murder. The judge dallied around every question and piercing fact, proving him wrong. Several times he would quietly say, all right, all right, very well, instead of actually answering anything. At one time after a heated vituperation by my counsel, he, he tried to dodge the scrutiny and he blurts out, well, um, do the people have anything to add? Instead of answering the questions that my lawyers were asking, this was a jaw-dropping moment to his severe ignorance to law. It was like a cross-examination on him and he couldn't answer without committing perjury once. Yet he has the pretentious nerve to derogate the expert testimony of psychologists that are on the panel of experts of Los Angeles County. They are approved experts stating their testimony is biased, yet he approved them and the court paid them nearly $10,000 each. They went through tests to be on the expert panel of Los Angeles courts, which is extremely rigorous and exhaustive. He had absolutely no grounds to not give the testimony's merit, especially the actual perpetrator, Christopher Murray, who, while under oath stated, even if Mr. Vasquez and Villanueva were not present, I would still lose it. I would still, I would have still lost it. Yet every thirsty line DDA to Garmo told was accepted. This judge servantly refused to admit that he granted my 117095 in part. Since he vacated count three, he foolishly kept saying, but I denied count one and two. And our counsel stated together, yes, your honor, but that is called granting in part. So he dubbed his own title by saying, well, it's a granted denial. On top of all, DDA to Garmo was instructed by her superior to file at 170.6 to change judges. In fact, all DAs, once they enter Judge Belize's courtroom, they have been ordered to file this 170.6 to change judges because Judge Belize makes up his own law, violates due process, violates human rights, and plays politics with the lives of defendants. Yet, DDA to Garmo refused to do that. She was also instructed not to oppose 
my motion to transfer proceedings to juvenile court. Yet, she opposed it, stating, I'm not here on remand, even though I am. Judge Feliza has zero authority to deny my right to be in juvenile court. Only the juvenile court does, yet Judge Feliza did. There's a reason why this DDA and this judge handle cases together, because they create their own law and threaten the rights of everyone in Los Angeles County by not following the published procedure for prosecution. Yet, they are so privileged, they are never held accountable. Another thing, DDA DeGarmo stated to my lawyer, off the record of course, this happened before court, she stated, your client is going to go to juvenile court for sure. Just not today. This only demonstrates This call is being recorded. This only demonstrates her vindictive agenda, prosecuting me wrongfully, delaying my process to freedom. At my trial court excuse me, at my trial in two thousand six, my judge stated on record we don't really know what Mr. Vasquez did, but we can convict him under the NPC doctrine. This makes my sentence invalid because the NPC doctrine was completely abolished. I've been doing 25 to life for another kid's crime, and now that kid has been released as a man, of course, 15 years later. I'm nearly going on my 17th year now. Please, if anyone is listening, I need help. I need help to get out of here. I don't, I'm not rich like the actual perp, Trish Murray. For now, I'm appealing the injustice from Judge Felicia's decision. I deserve freedom. I've earned it. I've only been out of a prison cell for five months since I was 14 years old. I have witnessed so much violence and injustice in these man-made hells, things that are not supposed to escape these walls. I've witnessed a lot. I've endured a lot of pain, and yet I have not turned rotten. I only live to help others. My partner and I can't even have family visits. We can't spend time together like other married couples do because the victims in my case were minors, as was I, a minor, as was I a victim.